Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. So this is a short video on the iOS upgrade of Catalyst 9000 series switch. We have a stack of four switches and the switch model is 9300. So what we are going to do, we are going to upgrade the iOS of that. So right now if you see the version, the version of the switch is 17.3.4 and we are going to upgrade the iOS to 17.3.5. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to copy the bin file into the class which I have already done. So if I see dir.bin, so I have already copied the bin file into my class and now we are ready for the installation. So before uh, doing the installation, what you need to check, uh, you, need, you can check the configuration register if the configuration register is set to the right value which is hex 102 and uh, you need to know like whether you should go for the install mode or for the bundle mode so guys whenever we have switches in uh, stack so we go for the install mode this is the recommended way of doing the ios upgrade on switches and bundle mode is usually it's a legacy mode where we define the uh, boot flash path like we have uh, we define the we define where our actual bin file is there but in case of install mode we are just defining the uh, we are defining the packages file right so what's uh, what uh, the switch is going to do like it is going to decompress that file it is going to extract the packages file and then the switch will install those packages into his into the uh, ecosystem and we need to make sure that the boot variable is packages.config and in case of the bundle mode, it will be flash column the bin file name, not the package.config. So it's a very simple command. So we have the bin file and we are going to issue the simple command. It's install add file flash. And then it's activate and commit. So just press enter and it is going to take some time so it will take around uh, 5 minutes so I will just uh, fast forward the video and then uh, we will meet after the, uh, after the reboot. So right now it is copying the file from switch 1 to other switches switch 2, 3 and 4 so it is going to take some time. So now we can see it is activating the packages. So the packages has been activated and now it is asking for a reload. So after the reload the iOS will get updated on all the switches. So we press yes. so the switch has booted up and now if we check the version it's 17.3.5 so it was previously it was on 17.3.4 and now it is on 17.3.5 so now this uh, this finished our video on iOS upgrade of Catalyst 9000 series switch so thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe it and we'll see you on next video. Thank you.